Welcome back to Split Second. Today we're going to break some thresholds right in half. Not our thresholds. Anything but our thresholds. We need those for holding our thresh. And our bridges. I actually got thresh in high school. Coming it was really bad. Second. I'm sorry? <laughs> what, is it not? Oh wait, no, that's thrush. This is still pretty great, even though we've seen it before. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, I actually forgot we'd seen that before. We had seen it before. As the game goes on, they get sort of lazier and lazier with the intros. I'm not sure why, but it's still awesome because holy shit, bridge is blowing up. <laughs> yeah, I call it the Simpsons dilemma. The Simpsons dilemma. What's that? Oh, yeah. Uh, the idea that the quality drops the longer a show goes on. I like to think that our show has not dropped in quality. We still have the monster truck. The monster truck's the most important thing. <laughs> yes. Are you using that? Uh, well, I'll be focusing on the slipstream today. We unlocked this last episode. It's very fast and it looks very cool. It looks like a, like a, kind of like a spider. It has a lot more in common with like a Koenigsegg, really. Probably like a CCX, CCXR. We haven't really gotten to the point where we're talking about like Diagera and stuff like that. What? Oh, it's a really famous Swedish car that's known for being very fast and not much else. Uh, it also had the what was called the Top Gear wing, because when Top Gear test drove it, their test driver was that was the only car he ever managed to crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's Top Gear? Oh shit, for a second I thought that you were racing a flatbed because the car right behind the monster truck looked all crazy. Nope, that is another very fast car. <laughs> yes. This is still pretty great. I'm, I'm never gonna get tired of that. I love that power play, it's so good. <laughs> you think they just start going through the middle one? You think so. But nobody really expects the doors to close. <laughs> Actually, if you can get through the side ones, that's a faster line because you don't have the dip where you go into the water. So you can actually carry more speed through it. Oh, does the water make you slower? Uh, because you're going through water and there's resistance to it, yes. But the main thing actually is the dip that you have trying to get into it where you have to pop in and pop up. We're, uh, we're kind of an explosion alley right now, <laughs> and that's really bad because the slipstream has a 2 out of 10 in strength. Hey. Yep. We have to just be faster than the explosions. Do you have to ride the slipstream? Uh, yeah, kind of. It's really weird. Uh, I was looking through some of my capture footage for this, I think the slipstream actually does have a bonus to how much speed you gain when you slipstream. Wait, that's a real thing? Yeah, slipstreaming is a real thing. You never watch, like, NASCAR or anything? Oh, yeah, no, I, I'm always there on, on Sunday nights with, with my NASCAR and my blue ribbon. I'm surprised people still watch NASCAR. Actually, yeah, NASCAR is really very popular. It's a very American style of racing. Don't they have like a let boys be boys rule where like you're allowed to kill people? Uh, only in the future. Also, I very nearly got wrecked by that falling silo because I was coming up to it and then I got wrecked and it completely destroyed my feet. Yeah. So that's not a real thing, then? No. I thought they were, like, allowed to, like... ...crash into each other and stuff. That's hockey. Oh. Yay! 
Yeah, I love the, the the Patriots. Isn't that the Mel Gibson movie? Uh, the one with Spider-Man? No, the one with Mel Gibson in it. Right, but did, wasn't he playing the Green Goblin? No, that was Willem Dafoe in Spider-Man. Oh, right, no, didn't Mel Gibson play the Sandman? No. Well, then, on that lovely note... So one thing that the slipstream's really good at is these back-to-back -back drifts. I can just go through these no problem. Yeah. Your car looks all jacked up. Yeah. Well, it's white on white, so you can really... Yeah, you yeah. can really see how messed up the cars get. <laughs> I really hope you race more white cars, because I didn't even notice that your cars get dirty until this video. Yeah, no, the, the cosmetic damage in this game is actually really solid for 2010. I really like it because it lets me, like, show off my battle scars and stuff. I always put a little battle scar on my RPG characters in games. Always over the eye, and then I try to give them- and if the game lets me, I'll give them heterochromia. Nice. Basically, I just always want to be Sephiroth. Did Sephiroth have a heterochromia? Uh-huh. I feel like he had to. I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, I love this one. Yep, downtown central's pretty great. Have we done Aravinch here yet? And the monster truck is back. Oh, <laughs> I did. Yes. Can you actually go fast enough in that? You'll see. Oh, I see, because you don't have to evade. No, I mean, I still have to evade. <laughs> I mean, when they exploded next to the other cars, your car would, like, go flying, but the monster truck's just ignoring them. One thing about Airstrike and Air Revenge is that you still have a benefit for driving a, you know, a monster truck, but if you get hit by two missiles in a row, you're still dead, though. In this case, strength just changes it so it's easier for you to recover if you get hit. But I don't really need to do that. Because you don't get hit. Well, this monster truck just has so much finesse. <laughs> uh. It's a car for the man who drives smarter, not harder. <laughs> you say it, you slam into the median trying to take a turn. I didn't slam into the median. Is the median not what's on the outside right side? I didn't slam into that. Ah. Uh. I do nearly get hit by that, I <laughs> drift inside of it. <laughs> I think that's a great touch that they still send the subway car through during the helicopter fight. I do think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. I'd like to imagine being a commuter, just like, on your way to work in a business office or something, you look out the window, it's just like, ah, mother this shit again. Well, this is all just an elaborate set. Yeah, but I like to imagine it's real. Hey, is that a decal? No, it's a car. Oh. That's the Cobretti Cascade. It's actually kind of cool. I like it. I like the color scheme. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. Black and yellow. And we can make it other colors as well, actually. Really? Yeah. It's got a kind of weird handling style. We'll get to it next episode. We're going to break out the slipstream again. Alrighty. I remember your favorite car is the Coyote, right? One of them, yeah. Yeah. It, how does the slipstream compare to the Coyote? The biggest difference between them is that the Coyote and the Slipstream both have very high drift scores, like they're both very controllable, but in different ways. I mentioned it in the Expressway Detonator where we first tried out the Slipstream, but the Slipstream has just this un uncanny ability where if you start drifting it like this, it will not wobble at all. It will just go pretty much wherever you point it. Uh, the Coyote responds really well to you giving it gas and being able to pull in or pull out based on that. Oh my god. <laughs> but 
like this, the slipstream is really controllable. It doesn't wobble at all, which means that you can just pretty much drift like this in perpetuity. Also, it's not just that part of the mountain that you can blow up. You can pretty much blow up all of this. <laughs> and yeah, and that guy's kind of a jerk. <laughs> Oh, poor tissue paper car. Yeah, two out of ten strength really doesn't help me. So now I'm in last place and I have about a lap and a half to make this work somehow. Are we gonna watch Old Bandit run? We might. Yeah, so I don't know anything about cars, but I love smoking the Bandit. There's no Pontiac Firebird analog in this, which I really don't like. I wish there was. I loved that car. Like, the fire, like the way that car looks with the giant fuck friggin' eagle on it, um, is just the coolest thing. I would argue that the Pontiac Firebird, the 78 Trans Am, is one of the nicest cars that GM's ever turned out. Also, stuff's still blowing up in this airplane graveyard. But we are in first again, which is kind of nice. I'm trying to get as much distance here as I possibly can, so I'm taking advantage of how well the slipstream drifts and how stable it is to use all the width of the track. Because the more width of the track I can use, the faster I can come out of these corners. One thing that I also didn't get to show off last time we were here is this shortcut. <laughs> Are you going through the dam? I am. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty great shortcut. And it's actually really helpful. Not only is it a shorter line through, but you also have a better path onto the next section of track because your approach to it is so much straighter as opposed to having to go through the sweeper going over the cliff. <laughs> when you hit the side in this particular car, like, it always looks like you're about to spin out. Is it hard to get it back in track? Oh, like, when you tap something, is it really hard to get it back on track? No, not at all. It's really just a very stable car in general, unless you're trying to drive it through a hail of explosions. That makes sense. I can get that. Like, these long turns where I can just let the car do its thing... That's pretty much the ideal use case for the slipstream, which is one reason that works so well on Airplane Graveyard. The biggest issue for this car on Airplane Graveyard is really about the end section. The density of explosions is just so high. I'd watch a remake of Smokey and the Bandit with Bruce Campbell. I absolutely would. Yeah, we should we should get a Kickstarter or something. How much do you think he works for? Like a pack of cigarettes? Maybe some beer? He seems like the type. Maybe. <laughs> nah, I should probably I, I shouldn't get started on Bruce Campbell, or else we're gonna be talking all day about Ash vs. the Evil Dead and my personal obsession with Bruce Campbell. You do seem to have a weird thing for him. He's in a very attractive man. I'm going to start with that, and I'm going to end with the fact that he is an amazing actor, and he's funny and charming. Okay. <laughs> so let's go on to this detonator event. This is a new one, but this is on construction site, which is a track we haven't seen in a while. Yeah, it has been. A, it's been a hot minute. It really has, which is unfortunate because I love Construction Site. You don't really get any other tracks that are just as wide open as Construction Site is. Also, you don't get anywhere you can, like, throw buildings at people. Just don't forget your hard hat. That's an OSHA violation if you do. So let's get started. This time we're in the Cobretti Pursuit, which is another sort of late game car, but not really. It's very fast. It looks fast. It is fast. It also drifts kind of like the Coyote, which means I'm going to drive this car like I stole it. <laughs> um, 
We start off pretty immediately <laughs> with this thing. Yeah. And this. <laughs> and oh this. Oh my gosh. But this also opens up this <laughs> shortcut. Oh, Onto the no. crane. You're grinding it. I am. This is so cool to watch. I'm just gonna say that now. I know that that might not be the best mark of quality to have to say that in your commentary, but I just, I enjoy watching this so much. Yeah, I'm a huge fan of this. This is probably my favorite event in the game. You can get so much speed if you can hit that downhill drift just right. It sets yeah. you right up for this last part of the course. Oh, wow, you're already done. Yep, 104.49. What's the, uh, what's, what's the, what's the, what do the leaderboards say? What's the, like, world record? 117. No, like, the record in, the record in, uh, like, for internet people, like, speedrun. Ah, uh, but I beat the dev time. Noise. Do the symbols mean anything? Oh, the symbols are the kind of event it is. I'm dumb. Yeah, they are. I'm surprised it took you eight episodes and a tutorial to figure that out. Well, uh, I'm street smart. Too busy watching the explosions, huh? Yeah, not a lot of symbols on the streets, just gonna say. That's not true at all. That's absolutely not true. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's... <laughs> As soon as I said it, I was like, well, that's a that's a dumb thing to say, turtle. We're going to break out the monster truck again. Uh. Monster truck is pretty great, and I know you love it. So. Oh, God, I love the monster truck. I've taken extra steps to make sure that it gets its screen time. I'm also racing a surprising number of other monster trucks. Gosh, uh, yeah. Can we name your monster truck? Is it the Tombstone? I haven't given it a name yet. <gasps> Thread, pick a name. Let's also blow this up. <laughs> You didn't even move. That's one of the perks of driving a monster truck. <laughs> oh. If I'm ever in the monster truck and I'm right beside somebody and there's a level two power play, I can always say I'm going to survive it better than he will. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Uh, I'm like trying to like you're, you're, you're I mean you are drifting but you're trying so hard to drift in it well I mean I have to keep things exciting oh no unfortunately this guy's just faster than me just bump into him a ton so uh, let's sort that out I noticed that if you tap something, like, at a certain speed, you wreck out when you're in the, like, when you're in the, like, for lack of a better word, in the gray phase of an explosion when the screen's all grayed out and you can see the explosions affecting you. Yeah. If you hit a monster truck while you're going in that speed, like, while you're in that gray phase, will you wreck out on the monster truck? Well, I mean, it's not really about whether or not you're in gray mode. It's basically about the speed and angle at which you hit something. You don't actually wreck out until you hit something. Yeah, okay. It just happens to be that the monster truck doesn't stop for anything because, hey, it's a monster truck. Fair enough. This guy is also in a monster truck, and unfortunately, he's way faster than me. How? Is it cheating? Is it AI? He's just got a better line out, I guess. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. So we're actually getting right down to it, but we're going to collapse the parking deck again. This gets us out onto this last bit of airport terminal, which we pretty much never see. 
<laughs> oh, hey, there's like all sorts of... Oh no, that plane's down for maintenance. Yeah, it's like this is an airport <laughs> runway and there are lots of planes around or something. I want to see split second, but planes. I would watch that. Yeah, like you're you're flying through construction sites and stuff, and there's like a laser cannon that shoots you if you fly too high. Or a giant net. I would watch that. I'd watch the hell out of that. So let's go on to the Elite Race. I think about bringing the Coyote back, but nope, it's going to be the Slipstream again. A slipstream. Slipstream hype. <laughs> Uh, it's also a slipstream that, uh, you did earlier in the race, right? I did use the slipstream a couple times early in the video. It's the only car we unlocked last episode, so I'm trying to show it off. Also, it's just a really good car. I like it. I really like the way it looks. It is a very cool looking car. It's bulbous, for lack of a better word. It's also really, really fast in a straight line. It only has a 4 out of 10 in speed, but it has better acceleration than the Elite S510. So we can just straight up accelerate these guys out. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, they can still wreck me up, so it doesn't work out quite as well as I want to. There's my homie Raptor in first place. Yeah, we've never seen Raptor in first place, am I right, gang? <laughs> That's not true. So rude. Very rude. So with the slipstream, you really have to defend your lead, especially on expressway. So many things here can blow up. It doesn't have quite the density of something like airplane graveyard or construction site where just everything can blow up or power plant. Power plant's probably the worst, but you really have to make sure that your lines are good and that you're really taking advantage of how wide everything is. Uh, also, you shouldn't do this because this is really stupid. Did you just call a power play on yourself? I called the power play on Braun, who was right next to me. I just yeah. managed to dodge it and avoid getting shockwaved into the pillars. That was impressive. Wow, you are in fourth place, but I feel like you've been going so fast. Yeah, I mean, this is the back half of the game. This is what split second is. <laughs> and we're still nowhere near Vixen or Raptor. Is my homie Raptor going to win a race? Oh, no. Torpedo does blow me up here, which puts me in a really no. bad spot. That's not okay. That's rude. So we're coming up onto the expressway, and I could drop the expressway here, but I maybe only get two people with it, so I just kind of hold off and see what else I can do here. All right. I'm kind of in the back, so I'm weighing my options right now until I get to this section of the expressway, which you can also blow up. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. Honestly, that second section, if you can hold off for it, that second section is going to be more helpful for you if you're trying to get to the front. Because going through the expressway and the chicane there, the cars will actually slow down a little bit, which makes them more susceptible in general to power plays. Yeah. So it works out really well for me. That was, that was so cool. But Raptor's still like 10 seconds in front, so. And I see that Raptor is coming around the corner. Oh, I see him. <laughs> and I dropped the helicopter on him. <laughs> I had no idea that the audio would glitch out and just cut the music out, but I love the glitch so much I just kept it. <laughs> so this kind of brings us out of the alley and into this final stretch, and I'm thinking about going through the gas station but I just decide against it because I know Raptor will just blow it up on me. Oh, can you blow it up again? Oh, dude, he goes fast. <laughs> oh, no. 
Raptor's not taking this from me. So overall, an excellent win for us. That... <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, I love Expressway. That just whole thing was like... Man, this game gets really good. Well, I mean, it started off really good. It just gets faster, which is really yeah. all that you need to have happen in split second. <laughs> we also unlocked this thing. This is the Cabretti 530 GTS. It looks exactly like the Slipstream. It does, but it's more like a Veyron and this thing. The Elite 440 Special is actually the car that Braun and the Hammer drive. Ah, are you going to be a uh, Diacorn the Hammer? I will hammer the gas in that car next episode, yes. Aha, uh -huh. guess I'll, I'll need to bring some nails then. I love the names of both these episodes so much. They're all just so over the top and great. When Split Second returns. This intro is over the top and great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I counted at least 10 jump cuts in like two seconds. It's like a Marvel fist fight. It's like that one scene from Taken where he jumps over the fence. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so good.